Okay, please introduce yourself and uh, where you're from. Oh, well, my name is Brian, and I'm from Pasco, originally, born and raised. <laughs> uh, sh well, share with us your testimony. Uh, what, how your life was before Christ? What led you here, and how it is now? Well, my life before Christ was uh, pretty much like the prodigal son. I grew up, you know, my my dad he gave his life to Christ when I was eight, and it was a big change. And he felt a calling, and we sold our house, we sold all our possessions. I went to Mexico and started a mission. When I saw that every oh, the mission was only supported by whatever my dad made, I decided, to, oh, I got to come back to Washington. I got to go to school. I got to finish, and I got to support him in any way. That's when my life changed. I came back. I started straying away from the right path. I started um, feeling just the criticism, just hate from my peers, just randomly. I started sheltering myself in drugs and gangs, and that's I, I would talk to my parents every day and I would tell them everything's fine everything's okay because knowing that the monster I became if I went back to that mission I would destroy everything that God has started so I just masked my emotions I masked my feelings and you know drugs daily you know just a violent life leading dozens and dozens of kids and youth into the wrong path and every day I was just dying a little bit inside emotionally and spiritually every day I would die more and more until you know years of this lifestyle passed I Met this girl, kind of got my life straight, and we had a beautiful son. I know you guys probably seen him around, little mini me. And uh, it's, he's a wonderful boy, and um, it was it was a blessing from God. But I never put God first in my life, and you got to put God first in your life, and in, in order for anything to work, that's what I never did. We were together for six years. Everything was passing. We became bitter. We became angry with each other. We just started hating each other and thinking we're holding each other back from being happy. Till one point, there was just one point that Satan just got in the way too much, and we split. And after that, you know, I lost focus. I lost hope that I was going to see my kid and grow with my kid and teach him the right ways. Till just, uh, April 22nd, of just a little bit ago, I was sitting in my window, and as I saw my, my baby's mother come and drop off my son, I realized I still have something to fight for. My son is someday going to grow up. And he's going to need somebody to lead him in the right way. He's going to need some, someone to teach him the right way, not just hearing stories of what happened, this and that. He needs to know that the power of God can change anything. So I ran to my room. I locked it. Bam. And I locked myself in there. And for the first time in years, I cried out to God. I cried out to God from the depths of my soul. And after so many years that I let God out of my life and just completely out of the picture, he looked down on me with mercy, and he pulled me from that hole. And I knew that moment. From that moment on, I was a different person. I got up from my knees. I walked out to the living room knowing God had changed my life that moment. And then on every addiction, every feeling of guilt, every, everything, you name it, was gone instantly. Nothing. And the power of God is amazing. Well, put your hands together for Jesus Christ. So now... How did you come out about this church and, and what led you here? We see you coming uh, a lot, bringing a lot of people, coming to morning prayers. Um, what led you here? It's a funny story. Um, well, my friend Marvin, when we grew up in high school, I know you guys know Marvin. He's a really positive person. Well, in high school, he used to purchase drugs from Yeah, he invited me a few times. And after seeing him after years and seeing the change and seeing who he was, I'm like, wow, you know, he's happy. He's just a different person. Now. I came once, but I still wasn't ready. And so after that commitment, I came back, and I, I was ready. I was ready to become a part of this family. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Once a drug dealer, now becomes a hope dealer. Come on. So, Brian, what is your advice now to some people, and what, what is actually your dreams and your goals as uh, you given your life to Jesus, you, you recommitted? What do you want to do now? Well, now pretty much I just want to use my story, use my past, my background, just to reach out to the people that need it, reach out to the youth before it's too late. Before they go through what I went, before they start going to jail and juvie and whatnot, I want to reach out to them and show them that there's, there's a way out. There's a way out in God. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Thank you so much, Brian, for your wonderful testimony.